Hi again, thank you for tuning in. If anyone knows me well enough, you know that I am kind of a brain nerd and a nerd in general, I love to read. There's my stacks of library books and things I'm working on. Um, so I wanted to share, and I've mentioned this in some other videos as a part of the whole, but I wanted to dedicate a little video to a couple things I've learned about our brains that have really expanded my understanding and helped me to have more control over my reality, really. Um, so the first thing about our brains is to, to know that, you know, our brains we receive as humans just walking through the world, we receive like something, some crazy number, like 4 billion bits of information every day, right? There's like so much going on in the world that we move through. Um, but our, our personal brains can only process like 2 million of those 2 billion, of 4 billion or something like that. It's, it's a, you know, it's some kind of a very small percentage of what is actually available to us is what our brains can actually bring in and like process. And what the two million bits that it decides to actually connect to and process are the things it's familiar with, are the things it knows, are the things that, um, yeah, are already running in there usually, right? So what kind of that brings us to is our thoughts and our beliefs and our stories, what we believe and say to ourselves and think in our brains is what we end up noticing in the world. And I've, you know, I've said this in other videos, that's why it's so vital to pay attention to our stories about ourselves, to pay attention to our belief systems and to pay attention to the words that we speak out loud, which are usually just echoes of our stories and our beliefs, because those are the things then that our brain starts to see and what, it, what it's doing is it's finding evidence for our beliefs. So, um, you know, pay attention to, to what you believe about yourself and the world and how the world works because your brain's really savvy and it's going to be like, yeah, Kelly believes the world is abundant and Kelly believes that people are are good and Kelly believes that there's always amazing opportunities for her. So it's going to go out and it's going to pull in all of that evidence and, and make it be what I see and experience. And so it is, that is how I experience the world. But you know, I had to pay attention to that at first. Um, and you know, if the stories that you tell yourself or that are running through your, your, your brain, your autopilot mind, um, are stories you no longer want to believe that you can change them and reframe that. Or, you know, a lot of times we're brought up with stories of um, so that society tells us, you know, that you have to live life a certain way. And I think a lot of us have revamped this story, right? We grew up with the story of you have to, you know, go to college and get married and have kids and buy the house and have the cars and the career. And it's like so many of us have been like, that's not my story, <laughs> you know, delete and kind of reprogrammed and been like, my story is I work at a place until I don't want to work there anymore. And my story is I don't want to get married and my story is I want to travel the world you know and then those are our stories and that's how we live our life and so um, that's one thing is just to know that the um, your brain will so intelligently find evidence for what you believe and what you tell yourself so think and believe and speak consciously yes the other thing that our brain does and I, is as it functions in the autopilot mind. So um, this is why it seems like change is hard or difficult because we create habits that literally are like highways, neural highways in our brain that are well-worn and they're well-trod. They're like a really popular trail that everyone walks on and it's really easy to like walk that way. <laughs> um, and we have those neural pathways in our brain with the, not only our thoughts, but with our, our habits and our actions, right? Like 
you can brush your teeth and not really think about it because you kind of your brain has paved that action very deeply into a groove in your brain and so it can kind of just go on its own so you can be brushing your teeth efficiently but also be whatever looking at your cell phone or cleaning the counter with the other hand or whatever you're doing um, same with driving things like that certain things it's good that they are well-worn grooves and we don't have to think about them our brain is wants to be very energy efficient and so anything it can kind of shift over to the autopilot mind it will that being said you know there's something to say for not shifting everything over to the autopilot mind right we don't want our whole existence to be an autopilot and so this is where i think um we all get caught up and have um you know a hard time changing things and the brain will do everything she can to convince you that changing or stepping out of the known into the unknown stepping from the autopilot mind into something new she'll do everything she can to like keep you back keep you back in the easy well-worn grooves because when you think about it that is easy right it's just easier to do the things in the known you know um, and so the brain will use like fear or um, all the stories of the society, anything to keep you from what it doesn't know. And so I'm thinking of like larger life things like, you know, quitting a job, which I've done and walked through. That's why it's kind of a part of my story and my belief set is that leaving a job or leaving a lifestyle is actually a really good and exciting thing. And that's because I've made it so. But people can believe a different thing and that's because you know your your mind is going to say no it's really scary no stay where it's known you don't know what's gonna happen if you walk that way you know there's like all these unknowns um, that kind of will yeah your brain is just going to keep you where it's safe and where things are known however you need to know that as a higher being you know you're not just this earthly body and like 3d kind of identity that we formed here on this planet we we are a higher being like of light and we we actually are made to be very expansive and have like a very vast life experience here on this earth and not just like you know one lifestyle or one identity for most of my years here um and so you know what I've come to realize is that yes stepping into the unknown is does feel terrifying sometimes um, but I've done it enough times now to know that is actually very expansive and very exciting and very good for my soul um, and that it can be done by anyone and I had a kind of my first experience of it was a kind of drastic one going from being a nun a religious nun for eight years most of my 20s as most of you who know me or have watched my videos know I came I, I left the convent after eight years and came home at age 30 and had to totally recreate a person in the world I didn't know who Kelly was I was a 30 year old woman and I didn't know who I was because my whole identity had been that of a religious sister sister Lumen Madre Lumen you know religious catholic missionary nun and so i was not that any longer and could not identify with any of that and so came home with this like blank slate and yes some of it felt scary but it actually more than anything felt peaceful and very wide open in like a good way like i can kind of do whatever i want become whoever i want and and I did and I've done that again and again and I'm not afraid of the unknown anymore and so you know that's kind of a drastic experience because I literally had to drop one identity like completely and kind of open up and create something new but it was probably one of the best things I've ever had to do because it made me not afraid anymore um, and so yeah I just encourage everyone to to recognize what's on autopilot in your life and let some of it be there because some of it it's good that it's on autopilot but um 
to know that you know you can drop old ways of being and step into the unknown and that the unknown you know change your story around it reverting back to language and beliefs know that in the unknown awaits for you like a zillion opportunities for creativity and expansion and exciting things and adventures you know the unknown doesn't have to be um this like scary dreadful black hole <laughs> the unknown is actually the rest of the beautiful universe we live in and the rest of you that's waiting to like be inhabited and lived out you know so um it's almost like you're the other parts of you are waiting out there in the unknown for you to like step out of your old identity and like step into the new one and you know right now so many of us are doing that we're kind of shedding the old paradigms of everything of society of work of money of all of the just the old paradigms of being and stepping into new ways of being and so like the time is ripe to do that so if you've if you're watching this video and it resonates if you've been thinking of quitting a job or leaving your state or moving or ending your relationship or anything like that and you're like you know i feel called to a different level of being a different way of being something more expansive than what i've been living then it's time to do that and know that it's actually quite exciting it's very liberating um, it's very expansive and very peaceful at times, you know, because when you're living your true identity, like when you've stepped into your true identity and way of being, your, your soul feels peaceful and happy. It's not like, you know, before if you were in your old relationship or your old job or your own whatever, you probably felt like frustrated or sad or miserable during your days. And it's like, you know the universe is calling you into the next version of yourself so like get after it and like have a lot of fun and remember that this life is meant to be enjoyed you know um it's kind of i'm learning more and more it's kind of like a game and i'm learning the the rule the universal rules of the game and i'm getting better at at playing it and so um and so can you you know we don't have to follow the rules of society and you know the corporate rules and all of that there's other rules there's <laughs> rules of nature and the universe and they want you to enjoy and have fun and just like float and swim along and play so enjoy that um anyway thanks for watching if you watched this whole thing i always appreciate everyone who listens and um you know always happy to connect and until next time have a wonderful day bye